occasionally an old video pops up on Reddit and um, one of my favorite subreddits is the public freak out one, I'm not gonna lie. And this showed up <laughs> on the public freak out subreddit. Um, and so the whole point of this was, what if we turn the tables on cops and talk to them the way they talk to us? How would they react? Well, let's take a look. Watching you take pictures of our parking lot. What's this about? Is that a problem? Uh, yeah, this is a police law enforcement parking lot. That is a problem. Oh. Who are you? I'm Detective Mike Jardine. Oh, yeah? What are you working on? What are you working on right now? Several cases. Okay. What, what is this about? Are you working on something right now? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I am. All right, what are you working on? What are you working on? It doesn't matter what I'm working oh. on. I'm asking you, what are you doing here taking pictures? Where have you uh, Where have you been today? Have you been here all day? Or have you been out and about a little bit? What is this about? Who are you? I'm, I'm asking the questions. Where have you been today? No, have you been here? I'm asking the questions. You're on this property. You're you're on this property, so you need to ask answer my questions. Are you drunk? Why are you slurring your words today? So have you have you been here all day or have you been out? Have you been to the bar today at all? Who are you? Have you been to the bar today? Who are you? I'm an investigator. Investigator for who? Investigative journalist. I investigate uh, corrupt officials. So I'm wondering, where have you been today? Have you been here all day or have you been out at the bar at all? Working on a fraud case. That's okay. where I've been. Okay. Have you been to the bar at all today? No. Okay. You got any drugs on you? Have you used any drugs today? What a ridiculous question. <laughs> I love that. That's good. That's good. I mean, it takes, it takes some huevos. I'm damn scared. I like I when I when a cop talks to me, I'm always like, yeah, yes, officer. Thank you, officer. Sorry, officer. Oh, you know, totally. no, you but know. like it shows you it shows you how effective it is to speak confidently, right? And and to speak with authority because from the jump, this guy, whoever he is, uh, speaks with authority and asks questions as if he has authority. And by the way, I mean, he's not doing anything illegal, but it is really interesting to see just like the way this detective reacted because yeah. he seems a little nervous as he's answering yeah. the questions. It's yeah, he's like, am I am I doing something wrong? Like, it's like, am I, is it possible? It's like some sort of like New York Times person or something that's gonna, yeah. <laughs> it's like definitely in the back of his mind. And he might be a perfectly lovely person. Like, we don't know anything about Detective Jardine, like nothing. Um, and he's like, you know, he's obviously confused and he seems a little nervous, but he's answering every single question. It's, he's but there's like, no, more. Not, um, drinks today. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that's a ridiculous question. I, I wanted to comment on that as well because it, it that triggered um, the one terrible interaction I had with um, a sheriff uh, from the uh, like the sheriff's department in Los Angeles. Um, I had made an illegal U-turn. This is during lunch, uh, work time. We, uh, me, John, two other people from work. We go to lunch. I'm driving. I did an illegal U-turn, I deserved a ticket, no question about it. Uh, I got caught, pulled over immediately, asked me if I knew what I was getting, getting, getting pulled over for, said yes, I made an illegal U-turn. I apologize, officer, give me the ticket, like let's move on. And he immediately starts accusing me of being on my phone, which by the way, my cell phone was in my like book bag in the back seat. Like my phone was nowhere near me and he just, he told me to get out of the car. It was the most Jesus. terrifying, like it was terrifying because he ended up letting me go be, and he didn't even give me a ticket after he asked me what I do for work. And once I told him I work in media and then he's like, where's your office? And I pointed to like where our studio is because I was close by our studio. He ended up letting me go, but he was creepy. Like he was super into my personal space. I was sobbing because I'd never been asked to step out of my vehicle before. I wasn't yeah. being combative with him in any way. It was anyway. So that that moment from that fun video triggered that for me, where you get accused of something that you're not doing, yeah. Um, and yeah, you're just anyway. It was scary. Um, but let's forget about the sad, scary 
part of yeah. the leasing and move on to the second part of this video uh, because there was more from this interaction. Let's watch. Do you know where he's been today? Uh, I don't. <coughs> I, no, I don't keep tabs on him. I okay. Out and about. <clears throat> Do you know what time his shift started? Uh, not off the top of my head. Okay. No. Um, does he usually drink on the job or? No? no, not not that anybody knows of for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Have you guys ever breathalyzed him while he's been on the job? Would you would you submit to a breathalyzer for me right now? You're ridiculous. You know that Same. you got about five minutes to get out of here right now. Or what? Or what? You're you're on my property. Order. This isn't your yeah, property. Yeah, shut the hell up. Get out of here now. What'd you say? I said shut up and get out. No, of here. No, you get out of here now. Hey, you better get your you better get your boy. Get your butt back in your office you and do your up. job. You shut up and get You out get of here. your butt back in your office no. and do your job. No. No. You quit drinking on the job. You understand me? Whatever. You punk ass. You get your ass back in there. You don't look back here again. I'll be watching you. You are now under investigation. To be clear, it has not been proven that Detective Mike Jardine is or was drinking on the job. Uh, that is the, the most second half is video so of much all better. time. It's amazing. He did, he went back inside. He went back inside to do his job. Well, he did it. It's just funny because, like, I mean, I'm guessing most police stations or all police stations are like on. Like public property, you know, like owned yeah, by taxpayers. I guess in theory, you know, with like, our money, <laughs> right? Yeah. And uh, he's like, "This is my property." He's like, "No, no, this is my property." He's like, "Oh wait, maybe he's right." <laughs> oh my god! But look, honestly, that could have that could have gone. Terrib really badly, terribly yeah. wrong. And so, I actually want to give uh, Detective Mike Jardine credit for. For Can like not like shooting that? this guy. <laughs> I, I know, I know. That's how messed up this whole policing situation is. Where the first time I saw that video, I was on the edge of my seat because I was terrified that something was going to go awry. Because that's yeah. likely to happen based on what we've seen um, with countless police videos. Yeah. Um, but that's why I'm like, okay, well, he did keep calm, so that's good. And it wasn't just him, it was the other cop too. I love how the other cop is like, no, no, I, I don't I don't keep ta I don't keep tabs on him. Am I in trouble? <laughs> like, what's going right, on? Right, like they're just so they're thrown off, you know, they're off their game. They just don't understand what it's like to not be in a position of absolute authority. So as I mentioned, um, I wanna give credit to whoever the gentleman was behind the camera. Um, since it was posted on Reddit, I mean, I'm not personally sure. Uh, it was posted by the Reddit user, Sir SirDabsalot594. Um, wow. So thank you, Sir SirDabsalot594. And thank you to the best subreddit page, uh, Public Freakout. Which I like to watch when I'm stoned. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.